So people always say things happen in threes. Well, I'm gonna argue that yesterday they happened in fours. First off, I got my hair cut. Finally, I got my fucking hair cut. That in itself is all the good that I need because I was getting pretty scruffy looking. Secondly, I found out because of this movie that there's gonna be a MacGruber 2. Thirdly, I went 25 and three on Call of Duty Warzone. And then fourthly, is, is fourthly even a word? Anyways, fourthly is this fucking movie. Welcome to Happy Wax TV. So straight off the hop, seriously, stop watching this review and just go watch this movie. It is that good. I, I tell you, man, I have had this movie since March and I was kicking myself in the ass after I finished it yesterday as to why I didn't watch this thing sooner. It is absolutely fantastic. I, I haven't laughed that out loud in a movie since I don't know when. Like this thing is, is great. Like it's, it's an Irish horror movie. It's called extraordinary and this thing is anything but extraordinary especially with all the shitty movies I'd, I've had to watch in the last couple of weeks let me tell you something I have watched so many crappy fucking terrible horror movies in probably the last two weeks like I, I have hardly even done reviews on them because they are they're just so bad and I don't want to you know I do rant and rave about some shitty horror movies but there has to be certain expectations or certain you know things that happen with those movies for me to do that but just, just the general crappiness of a lot of the movies that I've had sent to me, I just like, what? Please give me something good to watch. And I, I, I gave this one a chance and I was like, fuck, why did I not watch this movie sooner? Like, honestly, I am going to watch this movie a bunch more times. It is, it is absolutely fucking hilarious. I'll give you a, a quick rundown. Uh, Rose, um, uh, sweet and lonely uh, driving instructor must use her supernatural talents to save the daughter of Martin uh, from a washed-up rock star who is using her in a satanic pact to reignite his fame. Okay, well, it's directed by Mike uh, Ahern and Edna L Lohman. Now, I, I researched these guys, and they've worked together three times. This is their third movie, I believe, and uh, this uh, this would be their, their biggest movie, I would think, as far as budget-wise and stuff goes. But man, this, this movie's fucking banging, man. It is so fucking funny. Uh, it stars Maeve Higgins as Rose. Now, I've never seen... Uh, actually, that's the other good thing, too, is I didn't recognize anybody in this movie except for one person who I'll get to in a sec. Uh, but Maeve Higgins plays Rose. She's the main character. And then uh, Barry Ward plays Martin. Actually, Martin Martin is, is his name. And then uh, Will Fork. Now, okay, when he came on screen, because I hadn't seen him in a while, but when he came on screen, he plays Christian Winter. He's kind of the, the struggling... Uh, uh, rock star uh, who's into satanic powers and stuff who's who's trying to uh, do this ritual to get his fame back because it's kind of dwindling <laughs> hey, coming my sweet I'm doing an incantation now. but it, when he came on screen and I was like who the fuck is that guy you know what I mean I didn't want to look him up when I was watching it and then it dawned on me about 15 20 minutes in I thought that's fucking MacGruber I was like, what the fuck? I haven't seen his face in so long. And then when I was researching this movie, I found out that they are actually going to be doing a MacGruber 2. So seriously, um, again, stop watching this review. You don't just stop it now and, and go watch this movie first because it's banging. And then seriously, if you haven't seen MacGruber yet, just do yourself a favor, man. That movie is, you, you will be laughing so hard you'll have tears in your eyes from start to finish it is just it's crazy man so anyways he kills it in this movie too like honestly like the cast is is fantastic uh it's you know got a couple unknowns in there that i've never seen before who just like maybe higgins is a, is a great actress i hope to see her in, in lots more stuff this might be her breakout role because i mean really she killed it in this movie but william fort every time he's on fucking screen man he is like just hilarious so anyways, what this movie revolves around is uh, Rose has given up her supernatural abilities. Uh, her father 
uh, got killed kind of when she was working with him. Well, what they did is they, they worked with spirits, you know, to make them cross the other side or they would have seances or sometimes like do exorcisms and stuff like that. And when she was younger, uh, she accidentally, um, because she didn't follow the, the, the rules of, you know, the, the other world and, and her father ended up dying. So she packed it all in and now she just lives by herself and she's a driving instructor. So, but anyways, she does get, uh, Martin, uh, gives her a call, sorry, because his, his daughter has been chosen by this Christian winter guy who is going to perform this satanic ritual. Uh, but he needs a, the blood of a virgin to, to, to summon Satan and then, and then get his uh, music career back. Sounds, sounds, you know, you know, just like a generic type story, but I'm telling you, man, it's not this thing. Like it's, it's so well written and it is so funny. It's, it's God damn it. <laughs> I, I honestly, I have not laughed. I felt like fucking kind of weird because I was home alone when I was watching it yesterday and I was like literally laughing so hard that I'm sure my neighbors could, could fucking hear me. It, it was, it was crazy. So yeah, man. But basically it's just them. Like Rose comes out of retirement and works with Martin to try and save their daughter from, from this ritual happening. And it's just all the, the goings on, you know, throughout this movie of them trying to do that. And man, oh man, I'll tell you every time William or Will Fort is on screen, he is fucking hilarious, but the jokes work. There's gore in this movie. You know, there's, there's a couple times where people fucking explode. It was just, I don't know, man. This movie just hit all the marks for me. I, and again, I don't want to go on it too long. I'm just telling you, like seriously, the less you know about it going into it, the better it'll be for you. But to give it a rating, I would probably give for myself anyways, and this is just my opinion, I would probably give this movie like a seven and a half, maybe even an eight. I loved this fucking movie. It's got like a really good score on Rotten Tomatoes, which I agree with. And, you know, I think it's got like a six and a half on, on IMDb, but I, I honestly, I would give this like a seven and a half, maybe even pushing the eight mark. It was fucking hilarious. And it had everything. It was well paced. It's not too long. It's only 90 minutes long. There's enough gore in it, you know, for the gore fan. There's some twists and turns and, and the comedy is, it's just, it's nonstop. It's from the opening scene to the very end. It's just jokes and they all work. I don't think I heard one joke in there. And that's the other thing too, because it's an Irish movie. And sometimes when you watch Irish movies or, or any movies that are foreign um, to your native language, I mean, you, sometimes you miss the jokes because obviously humor, you know, from other parts of the world is going to be different than what we have over here. But I'm telling you, man, every joke in this movie worked and I fucking loved it. So anyways, I can't recommend this movie enough. Please do yourself a favor, go watch it. I, I apologize again that I didn't review this earlier. I've had this fucking thing since early March and I just got around to watching it now. And I apologize. I didn't get a review up sooner for this because uh, seriously, if you guys haven't seen this, go watch it. But two, also too, if you haven't seen MacGruber yet, honestly, if, if you love this Christian Winter character played by Will Fort, trust me, after you watch this, go watch MacGruber because as funny as he is in this movie, I, I mean, he's just as, if not even more, crazy in, in MacGruber. It's a, such a good fucking movie. So anyways, it is called Extraordinary. Highly recommend it, guys. If you've seen it, let me know what you think. And if you haven't, again, please go watch this movie. I guarantee you, you will love it. And then come back here and let me know what you thought. And until next time, guys, stay scared.